In today's video, we're diving into the world of physically based rendering, also known as PBR. PBR allows us to achieve incredibly realistic materials by utilising texture maps. These texture maps control various properties that define how light interacts with the surface. Here's a breakdown of some key PBR textures. Diffuse. This map defines the base colour of the material, similar to the pigment of a physical object. Roughness. This map controls the surface's reflectivity, ranging from perfectly smooth or glossy to completely rough or matte. Normal. This map influences how light scatters across the surface, affecting the creation of shadows and highlights. Imagine it as a detailed map of the surface's microscopic bumps and grooves. Bump. This map adds even finer detail to the surface texture, further enhancing the realism by representing subtle imperfections or microstructures. Displacement. This map offers the most dramatic effect, allowing for physical alterations to the model's geometry. Think of it as sculpting directly onto the mesh using a height map. By effectively utilising these PBR textures, we can create incredibly realistic materials that elevate the overall quality of your 3D renders. For this demonstration, I'll be using a set of 2K PBR textures downloaded from Texture Haven. You'll find the link in the description below. Before we begin, make sure you have the Node Wrangler add-on enabled. You can find it under Edit, Preferences, Add-ons. Now let's create a simple plane to test our PBR texture. In the 3D viewport, press Shift A, navigate to Mesh, Plane, and add a plane to your scene. With the plane selected, turn to the Properties panel and navigate to the Materials tab. Click on the New button to create a new material and give it a descriptive name. Let's switch to the Shading workspace for creating the material. We'll use Node Wrangler to streamline our PBR setup. So place your cursor within the Shader Editor. Click on the principled BSDF node. Press Ctrl, Shift and T and select all of your PBR texture files. Now you'll see all of them connected to the principal BSDF node. If you're using your own PBR files, ensure that they follow the correct naming conventions. I've put a list of these in the description. It's good practice to review the nodes. Ensure that the diffuse node's colour space is set to sRGB and all others to non-colour. Because our plane is a single face, displacement won't show yet. We need to switch to edit mode, select the face, right click and subdivide it with 90 or so cuts. Now we've added geometry, still nothing. In the material properties, switch from bump only to displacement only. Still nothing. Blender 4.1 requires cycles rendering for displacement. So change the render engine to cycles. Now we have displacement, but it may be too strong. In the shader editor, locate the displacement node and reduce its scale to 0.1 and adjust it to your liking. And there you have it, a great looking PBR material. If you found this tutorial useful, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and hit the notification bell for more tutorials like it and that will help the channel so much. See you on the next one.